Hi, I'm Lee. Welcome to the channel. Uh, today's episode, we are going to be moving our old kitchen sink from the utility room and putting it next to us here in its new position. Although it's only temporary, I have got a new sink that eventually will go here when I've built new cupboards. So, hope you enjoy the video. already taken the sink off there I've just disconnected everything uh, so as you can see in here I just built this frame just to sit it on for now this is only temporary so it's coming out of here and just going next door over there so I've already disconnected the um, hot pipe and don't need hot in this room anymore so I've just it was a, a T piece down there that I've changed just to an angle, just to send the hot water into that way. Um, so we're going to leave the cold water in here for the washing machine. The washing machine is standing in here. So I've just sorted out the pipe work. Um, if you watched my previous video, we core drilled the hole through here for our waste pipe. And we've just put our waste pipe through there for now. And we've just reorganized all our pipes. So this is our hot pipe that's coming through from next door, which is tin in the corner. And obviously they all go up the corner to upstairs. So that's our hot pipe. This is where our mains water is coming in. So we've teed into there, teed into there that goes to our outside tap. And then obviously goes off to another tee, which goes into the boiler down to upstairs. Now this here, I have put a 22 mil pipe in um, before I've done this floor. So we've got a 22 mil pipe that goes all the way to the front of the house. So at a later date, I'm actually gonna switch this mains incoming from this 15 mil pipe over to the 22, and then I can run the 22 just along here, and I can branch off to the cold tap for the sink, cold tap for the outside, and then going upstairs to the bathroom. So hopefully that'll help with a little bit of flow. Although the flow rate and pressure is pretty good here. So we've got all this organized. Um, I've just left this one because I'm not sure how long this needs to be to go up to the cold tap. So that's our last fitting. So we're just gonna move this frame out of there now into its new position. I do have to cut the feet on there a little bit because that floor is sloping. That's another thing I need to sort out. I've got about an inch slope on that floor to the back. So we're probably gonna have to level that at some point when we strip all this out and everything else. So I've just got to cut them down a little bit. We'll get that frame. We'll put it in here and we'll connect up the sink. You might see all the animals running around. It's dinner time, but I want to get this done and the water turned back on first. So, so this doesn't have to be brilliant. It's just, it's just temporary for now. So we sort that room out. Just take it to the level, because like I say, the, this was made for a sloping floor, so this side should be higher. And yes, it is. Measure. Yeah, that is exactly an inch out, so I need to take an inch off this side. So let me do that, and I'll be back with you. It'll be easy, so let your guard down. Dead level, dead level. I have made this for some reason, so it's falling back a bit, but yeah, I've made it so it's falling back a bit. There's probably a reason for that, so I'm gonna leave it. 
I'm not worried about this going right back behind the pipes at the moment. For what I need this for, it's good enough once I've got weight on there. Actually, I think I will chuck a couple of nails in the wall. I had it nailed into the wall previously, so I've already got some holes in the wood. Uh, you can see where my electrical cables are going down the wall, so I'm not going to hit them. That's not long enough. Great patience, but something knocked you out. You felt your limitations. Filled your mind with doubt You want to stay real right now And don't let your eyes off the prize I know you want it to be easy So let your guard down And I said That's it, that is rock solid now Right, let's get this connected. Right, so obviously we've got our hot tap with our isolator on there. That can literally just go straight on. So that will do for now. Where's the... Uh... Now I don't think this old piece is going to be long enough to go up onto there now. Right now I've got to undo that and just get a pipe that's slightly longer. Just get everything I need. Uh, I've got a bit of a extra length of pipe, a couple of pipe inserts. Because we're going to take this off we're going to lose the olive so I've got a new olive. That is a brass one. I don't really like the brass ones but they seem to be alright so far. I've not had any trouble with them. This is just going to grab either side of our isolation valve, stop it from slipping. And just, they're not done up very tight, these ones. And like you say, the olive is squashed on there, and you're not going to sort of get it off and reuse it. We're going to stick a new olive over our pipe. We're going to stick in our pipe insert. These ones are super tight. I need to tap it down. So I'm just going to push that up into there. Actually, these pipe inserts are too big. That is just ridiculously tight to get these inserts in. Flow past, flow past inserts. They shouldn't be that tight just to get them into one of these. Hopefully that's in far enough. I've now got a cold pipe with an H written on it. Right, so just going to do these up. Don't have to go nuts on these. Otherwise you'll just end up squashing the pipe insert. Right, so now we're just going to bring it down. I don't know if you can see where we're going. Right, I'm just going to bring it down and measure it to where we need to cut it so it's literally the bottom of this nut here let's take our pipe slices pipe insert in there oh, these are one of the old ones they're much better to work with and then that can just slide in and then just pull it back and that's in nice and tight Let's take this hot one off. I'm just going to put it up behind this leg. Another good thing about PEX pipe and flexi hoses. You wouldn't be able, you wouldn't be able to do that if you would coppered it in. I know copper's better. We'll just nip these up a bit find it. Right, it's nipped up, they're not, don't over tighten them. Right, now I've just got to sort our waste out. Right, this is our old waste, hopefully we can 
reuse it. I'm just going to take these off of here for now to push them over. Save me pushing the pipe back out the wall. Now I can just push that all the way in. I don't want to get on there. Tighten that up. Now I've just got one of these bottle traps for under the sink. So they just simply go on there. And these ones are adjustable so you can undo this nut and slide them up and down when you need to. Typical, I haven't got a 40mm elbow. I do have a Blanking plate. I don't know whether this is going to fit over there. We are soon going to find out. Oh, so the blanking plate fits in the top, washer in the bottom. nice and tight in there. Now just need to cut this pipe down a touch because it is too long. Right, let's go and cut a bit of this pipe off from that dirty sludge at the bottom. Yucca. Right, hopefully this should be the right size. It's not tough. Let's loosen that up to so just the height. It's done up, we'll push it up a bit so we've got a slope downwards. So that's all done up tight, that's done up tight, everything's tight. I don't want any leaks on this floor because I've not finished it yet. Right, so that's it, our water's back on. No leaks from the water anywhere so far. Good job. Right, here comes some hot water, which would be hot if I turned the boiler on. It's another thing I need to, I need to change the boiler from being plugged in here to being in a spur. That's what I thought. Check the waste. Make sure there's nothing leaking from the waste. Or the taps. Just checking up the connections where they go up to the, uh, up to the tap here. Nothing leaking there. Ugh. Bit of splash back from the cold. And that's it, nothing leaking so far. And we have that running into there. And so far no leaks. So that's all looking good. And all I did out here for now. This is where we had a T-piece going off for the tap. Um, just put a straight in there, so it's connecting up the washing machine still. Now all I need to do is just get a piece of waste pipe for the, the waste. I'm gonna move the move the washing machine over to here for the moment probably. But yeah, look, I mean, look at the state of it behind here. This all needs, this is why I wanna clear this room and get it stripped out. So all these tiles are coming off. Demolish it. Polystyrene tiles off the ceiling. There we go. Johnny, there's nothing dripping down there, is there? Johnny, big G, nothing dripping under there, is there? No, good. There is a wet patch, but that is from before. Right, so that's all running. Looking good. There we go. 
You need to sort all this out. Not the prettiest in the world. I need to get some solvent joints and do this properly so I can get it closer to the wall. The, the drain sits on splashing everywhere. But that's okay because it's temporary. So there we go, that's it. We're all plumbed in. Turn it off, stop the racket. Oh, that's nice and warm. Boiler's looking good, boiler's looking happy. Right, so that's it. I mean, this, this was only temporary. I mean, it was quite a quick job just to shift it out of there, put it in here. Uh, like I say, if you haven't seen my previous video of core drilling a hole, it makes a nice new, neat hole. We've just got to fill that up with a bit of um, a bit of expanding foam, and then we'll just put some cement around the out, uh, top of it, around the, outs, around the outside of it. But that's how easy it is to move a sink or plumb a sink in. Now, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have liked it, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button so you see more of the little projects and temporary situations we do here and uh yeah please leave a comment thanks for watching i hope you've learned something and i'll see you next time come on boys and girls clear the table we'll have some dinner